for our fault. Did you just hear one of us saying crackers as we went like, we were talking about crackers? Because look, I'm not going to say anything. Fiona's got a burning question, so I'm going to hand, I'm going to give the floor to Fiona. Uh, the lady uh, from Wimbledon has the floor. I'm starting your time. Okay, <laughs> so, so my question for this hour was, what was your favourite Christmas cracker joke? that you, you had in a Christmas cracker this year. And if you don't have Christmas crackers in the US, where what do you have? Because how do you get your party What do you at? pull on Christmas and, Day? And what do you pull? And, and where's, your, where's your really bad taste joke? Yeah, I mean... Yes, we need to I'm make it a, <laughs> We need to make it our mission, don't we, to bring uh, crackers to the whole of the US. I think that's what we're going to have to do, Fiona. You I are joining so. us back here for uh, the Craft Fault. It's the second instalment. We had such a busy show when we kicked off our day this morning at 11 a.m. here in the UK. Don't worry, though. Nothing's sold out, which is handy for you because it means all the great deals are still here. And do you know what we're going to do? We don't have long. It's an hour. It doesn't feel like we have enough time together. So we're going to dive right in and have a look at all the awesome products that are coming your way. Uh, starting off with uh, Edibles. These are fantastic. It's a buy one, get two free scenario here, which is awesome. Uh, club members, it's platinum members, you're saving £10.97 or £17.45. I know. Uh, make sure you grab those. You get dream, pretty and cute. Uh, we've also got the newspaper collection. Now this is great because you get a creator card die in here. You're basically paying for the creator card die and we're giving you the collage die uh, totally free of charge. The collage die should be £19.99 or £25.95, saving way more than you're spending there on that one. Now, we've also got the Sweet Treats Creator Card Collection. Uh, this one's been out of stock for a long, long time, uh, I hear. So it's great that we've got that back in stock. You should be paying $24.99 just for that cupcake die and stamp set on its own. Incredible value here. Uh, we've got the rotating stamps. Uh, Fiona's pick of the show. I know how much she absolutely loves these ones. She's got in here uh, the Spring Has Sprung and the Flutterby Wishes as well. Seven ninety nine each. However, two of those today. Well, you basically buy one for an extra one pound fifty one. We give you another one. Wow. I know we're spoiling you, aren't we? We've got the layering stencils on the show for you as well. These are awesome. Uh, you've got the lilies. You've got the dahlia, dahlia, and you've also got as well the regal rose in there as well. You're paying for one, which is awesome. And we send you all three. If you're a platinum, we're not even say paying for one. Are you going to get another one pound sixty off of those, which is incredible value for money? Don't miss them. We've got some paper pads. It's a real good sort of mixed all round uh, uh, kind of craft fault. This one, which I love, eighteen pounds or twenty eight dollars. It's going to get you the 12 by 12 pop-up box Christmas pad and also the 8 by 8 double-sided paper pad as well. You're going to get both of them, £18 or $28, which is fantastic. Uh, we've also got the Sara Signature Garden of Love collection. I love this one, £33, $47 if you want to get your hands on that. Check out the saving, nearly £50, over $70. Uh, do you want to get your orders placed? I'm sensing you will because there is so much great stuff coming up in this show. Uh, Crafterscompanion.co.uk.com.eu. That's where you can watch and shop at the same time. So you want to watch and shop over on our website. You want to have a bit of a salacious gossip with us. It's 7 p.m. So it's when all the real tea goes down, as the kids call it. The tea <laughs> is piping hot, mama, in this show. Uh, what I mean by that is we can have a good old gossip, right? That's what the kids call it. Uh, you can do that with us over on Facebook. So drop into Crafters TV, slide into the DMs over there, or DMs, I mean the comments, really. Uh, if you want to uh, chat with us across on YouTube, of course you can search Crafters Companion over there. Do you want to send us pictures? I'd love yes. to see some pictures studio at crafterscompanion.co.uk is where you need to send those into. Right, I'm not going to stand in your way, Fiona, because I know you've got a okay. lot you want to get through in this show. Absolutely, and we're going to start with one of my favourites. If I had a second love after embossing folders, it would be stencils. These are absolutely gorgeous. You've got your regal rose. I mean, just look at the depth and dimension that you've got on there. But you've also, look at this, there we go. Love this that. one has got embossing as that third layer. So, of course, you can be using these with whatever you fancy. You don't have to use more than one colour. Look at that in the monochrome. Absolutely gorgeous. But, of course, if you want to go colour, wow, absolutely beautiful. And then, finally, your Dahlia or Dahlia, depending on what side of the pond you're on. And, of course, again, 
not just for your inks. Look at that with the glitter paste. Isn't that sensational? Gorgeous. So well, this is what we're going to play with first off because I think these are amazing. I hope you can play with them quickly is all I'll say because Fiona, they are limited stock. Less oh, than 10% really? of our stock is available. Uh, I was meant to tell you 75% of the stock had gone and then before I know it, they're already limited stock. Uh, we wow. are going to share with you that demonstration because do you know what? Fiona's excited about it. And when Fiona gets excited, she gets what she wants. Puts it that way. Thank you uh, so, uh, but we won't be far off a situation where we've got more of you trying to get it than we have it available. If it's in your basket, you do want it, get it checked out. It's always the best bet. Fantastic. So we're going to start with the rose because I love the rose. Now, each packet has three stencils in it. So you get your main image, you get your die which overlays. Can you see, if I hold that up to the light, you can see that going through. And then you get your background that you can pop on. So if I hold that up to the light, just like that, maybe you can see how they work together. But of course, the backgrounds are interchangeable. You can use whichever one you want. So in fact, this time round, I am going to use the Dahlia. You'll also notice I'm using my new favourite toy. My new favourite toy is in the mega deal so if you missed the earlier show go back and have a look if you missed the four o'clock show you will find all the details on it was there. part of what deal was it part of fiona it was part of the monday mega deal <laughs> can we please get fiona to record that so we can then play it out as a little sound effect every time fiona's not here <laughs> just just to make you happy joe hey <laughs> makes just me happy, happy let alone you <laughs> Um, uh, right. Snooze, you lose, you old Sonia says she loves her rotating stamps, she hopes to see uh, them. Aisha saying good afternoon everyone, I have had lunch and I'm ready for my afternoon learning with Miss Fiona. Oh fantastic. Wow. So Fabulous. we're going to use, I'm using the water reactive inks because I like using them, I like the way they blend. And what we're going to do is just use, look at this, we're going to pop in just colouring the rose with the pink tulip, I love this. Do you know, anything you do for these, you can, you can make these look sensational. And at the end of the day, it's a piece of card. And if you're, asked, if you're wondering what card I'm using, I'm using our stamping card. And you can see, you don't have to dwell on this. Just get your ink down there because... If we wanted to, though, if we only had Nina or a watercolour in our stash, could we use either what? of those instead? Yeah, if we absolutely. If we were waiting for our stamping card to be delivered? Fantastic. I would use your watercolour card. Okay, awesome. Most definitely. Or use your quick dry inks on your Nina. Okay, Aha, There we go. That would work too. So I'm just going to do these leaves now. I know it's a bit of an odd choice, but I like it for leaves and I like the colour of the parakeet anyway. So we're going to go for blue leaves. I know, a bit radical, but I just think Gorgeous. they look fabulous they really do and you can see again not really worrying too much about these just going to get some color down now i have to say i have got a couple of packets of these stencils at home already because i keep one for my mixed media and then i use one for my inks well that's the plan but every now and again i find that i've used one of my mix my inky ones for my mixed media and Today is a fantastic day to get them because look, if, if that was all you did, that would be incredible on its own, wouldn't it? Mm, it would absolutely be absolutely stunning. awesome. I love it. I, I think it's a miracle we've, we're getting towards. <laughs> well, how, how far are the, how, how, like percentage wise, how far into this demo would you say we are? Oh, I've, I've got two layers to do, about a third in. Oh, why? okay. Well, we're about 95% of the stock gone, so I hope we oh. can get all of it done. Okay before it sells out maybe it will happen all at the right time okay i'll tell you what i'm going to i'm going to say and press buy when they're ready to do it because i <laughs> Fiona's really, going to be telling you basically really... not to check out your basket until she's finished with a yeah. third layer no don't don't miss out don't miss out if you've decided these are the things you want i would hate you to miss out and then come back to me and go fiona you said wait and no, <laughs> no. You you do what you need to be doing. Now look at that. Well, There's the second George layer. George is just committed to finishing the demo, whether it sells out or not. You'll be pleased to know. Oh, fantastic! She's in a great mood, clearly. She is. She um, is. Tammy would like to know how, it, in an English, uh, how English friends pronounce the British author of Norwegian descent Ronald Dahl's last name. Dahl. There you go, Dahl. Well, yeah. Um, how Paul do Dahl. you guys pronounce it? 
Mm. How, yes. Is it, is it, now, now I need to know, how do our friends across the Bond pronounce Absolutely. it? Absolutely. Is it different? Do you know, I always wonder how many times we do accidental swears on Crafters TV to our friends across the pond. You know how different things mean different things? And some of their words mean different things here. There must be a lot of our words that we don't realise mean different things there, Fiona, I reckon. That is stunning. No. It's looking good, isn't it? And then I'm using... Now, this is the background from the Dahlia or Dahlia, whichever way you want to do it. So what I'm going to do is just grab. Now this is smoke plume. It is a really pretty, really pretty um, pale grey ink, she says, hopefully. Hopefully it's a pretty, really pretty grey, pale grey ink because I'm sure it's the right one I've grabbed because I think this just gives the most beautiful background. Now I'm not going to go crazy and do the whole background I'm just picking out the areas that I can see there's a lot of white space between the actual design so all I'm doing now it may look as if I'm almost putting nothing on there at all but you wait and see what this looks like and it's so quick and of course you don't have to just be stenciling card you could if you want be sticking these on with your mount spray and using these on cupboard doors mm. on um, frames that you've got for home decor. If you've got any of the the um, beautiful, beautiful glitter pastes mm. that we have, um, you know, the threaders ones, yep. you could stencil this onto fabric, onto a bag, onto a cushion cover would look amazing, wouldn't yeah, it? Great idea. I love those ideas. Uh, now, it really is fan fantastic. And am I right in thinking we can emboss with these stencils as well, Fiona? Yes. Look beautiful. At that. Isn't that? It's very Beauty and the Beast, isn't it? Really lovely, isn't it? So trim that down and then you could pop that onto your card front and just do a variation on a the theme of, say, that one. Oh, there I we like go. that actually. It's gentler, isn't it? With that Beautiful. other background, it's just a little bit gentler. Mm, really Love gorgeous. Both of those. Oh, How are we doing in the stock there, uh, Georgina? 2% remaining, wow. it's going to go any second now. <laughs> right, I feel like Tammy, I feel like she's tricked me a bit, Fiona. I feel like go she's on. kind of backed me a little bit into a pronunciation corner because she says, I ask, because the Dahlia was named after the Swedish botanist Andreas Dahl. I oh. like what you did there. That was a very clever way of, was a very close, you, <laughs> very clever way of proving your point, Tammy. There is no flies on you. Um, <laughs> if I had a Blue Peter badge, I would send one out to you. Um, Fred <laughs> says, uh, all of the CC stencils are awesome and so, so simple to use. Uh, love it so much, Fiona. Uh, that um, stencil panda says, sorry, I just had to go and order these stencils. Do you know what? I buy one, get two free. I don't blame you, Panda Crafts. And Diane says, please tell Tell Fiona Jo, I enjoyed her being on Craig's show today. Thanks. Oh, you thank you. She enjoyed you being on there. Oh, that was nice. That I was enjoyed nice. being on there as well. It was worth he getting up to He wasn't leading you astray, was he? Huh? He wasn't leading you astray, was he? Never. Oh, Never. Good. No, we were having a good old... Do you know, we were having a good old gossip about all sorts of things, including my love of cooking. Cooking? There you go. <gasps> if you had to eat one meal for the rest of your life, Fiona, what would yes. it be? My homemade French onion soup. <gasps> oh, good choice. There you go. That would be good it choice. every time. Um, uh, mine would be a, a pizza from a certain pizzeria, which is very close to my apartment in Manchester. <laughs> I could just have it. Or oh, breakfast, lunch, dinner, all day, every day. Uh, right, I've got some work to do. What are we doing on today? Sweet treats. Now, Fiona, before I go yes. through this, you were saying, weren't you, that someone you know was trying to get hold of this. Yes. And it's, it's been yeah. uh, out of stock for a very, very long time. They have. They've been out, out of stock for a huge amount of time. You've been able to get... Um, some matching stamps, but this actual set of dies, this beautiful sweet treat dies, this is the one where you can make cards like this cupcake, which is absolutely gorgeous. And I'm going to show you how it works, but you'll see you get all of these dies and they're a nice big size. But the even better thing about this is they have teamed this with the stamps. Now, these are not any old stamps that they've got, and I think you've got them over there, Yes, Joe. I do. These are our verse and sentiment stamps, but this is the happy birthday verse and sentiment stamps, which is amazing. So you could have your happy birthday, so inside you could say it's all about you, or happy birthday, eat cake, um, 
Happy birthday. What a great reason to celebrate. Happy birthday, Make really a Wish. Really usable, aren't they? Yes. The idea is that you've got something which you could put on the front and also something that you can put on the inside. And if you're anything like me, sometimes the most tricky thing to do is to think of something to put on the inside of a card. Mm. And these stamps solve it. I mean, it's great that we've got these two together. I think it's a great idea. Yeah, it's really awesome. Uh, if you want to uh, grab it all together, £18, which is less than you should be paying for the cupcake stamp alone. Uh, the sweet treat should be £24.99 or £32.99. Club Inspire Platinum members, you can get this for £14.40 which is awesome value, saving you 16.58. So it's less than half price. That was pound pricing I, I was referencing right there. Um, oh, we're all, we're all talking about the last meal we would ever have. So if you, ha th this is a great question. It always comes back to food. It's only taken 15 minutes. It, I reckon we always get it in somewhere in our shows, don't we? So if you, what if you had to eat one meal forever, what would it be? I've actually changed my mind, Fiona. Go Mine on. would be very simple, four poached eggs on two pieces of brown toast. Ooh. Delicious. I mean, I could eat it for breakfast, lunch, and dinner every day. Right in the gallery, Georgina. She can't. She she doesn't know. Charlotte. <laughs> oh, carbonara for Georgina was it, or was that Charlotte? Oh. Right, Charlotte. Oh. <laughs> Their voices do sound. They are the, very. The do you know what? Sometimes they sound very similar. Don't they sound very similar. That they've got very similar voices. Yeah. Right, carbonara for Georgina. Uh, uh, jo no, carbonara. <laughs> This feels like, you know, in the panto when they're going through the doors and seeing who lives in which house. That's what this feels like. So, Charlotte's got a carbonara coming her way every day. Georgina doesn't know what she wants yet. Joy Simpson, spaghetti and meatballs with a glass of cabernet. Oh, yes. Um, Mary says, oh, yes, French onion soup. Susie's would be cake. Panda Craft says everyone needs cake every day. Georgina has got an answer. A homemade oh, lasagna. There you go. Is it though, is your lasagna, do you like it with lots of sauce or do you like it quite dry? There's two types. <laughs> lots of sauce, <laughs> cheesy You've got chip. A recipe, right. then. You guys are going to kill me with this. Honestly, I'm so hungry. Fiona, back to you. And yes. this is cupcakes as well. What were we thinking? Yeah, and I'm doing cupcakes, yes, and all of this before dinner time. Right. <laughs> Look at this. You've got this beautiful big cupcake die which comes with the matching frosting of course going on there but as well as all of these you have got your beautiful cherries you've got your hearts you've got your cake flags in there you've also got your candles you've even got the top of your tag so you can make tags as well so I want to show you how you would use these so I've got a piece of card and you can see I've just folded it to make a tent fold so to make the base this is how I would do it I hang the um, edge, the cutting edge, that uh, scallop, that will be the word, Fiona, the scallop, just over the edge there. And then what I'm going to do is just run this through. So the base of it becomes the actual bit of the card which opens, and the top of it becomes a decoration. So that is going to pop just in there. There we go. Um, more, you, we, we have started with uh, lit, a, with lit, a, with lit a fire in the comments. It seems have uh, we? people have sending in pictures of their cards as well. Remember, you can do oh, that. We fantastic. love seeing them, uh, and it's getting busy. I'm hearing on this cupcake die. Don't miss out on it. I know you've oh, waited for such amazing. a long, long time for it. Good point, though, uh, Fiona, which you just uh, made me think about. If there is anything ever sold out on our website, underneath it, there's always a little box. And you put your email in that box, and it notifies you when it comes back in stock. Don't forget about that. It's a great way to go. Yeah, definitely. So look, there's the base. There's my cupcake base, as you can see just there. So then what I'm going to do is just pop in my cupcake and that's going to sit on the two outer edges of my card. And then we're going to cut the topping as well. So let's pop that bit through. Awesome. And then I'll tell you which pad I'm going to use. Controversial, I know, but we had that lovely 8x8 embossing, for, that 8x8 pad on the show And it's earlier. card, that one, isn't it? Not paper, Fiona. Really Full nice. Full on bona fide 250 GSM, was it, or 230? 250 oh. GSM, so it's proper, proper cardstock. So then, you see, what I've done is I've cut myself two cupcakes complete with the serrated top. So... This is going to stick, then you stick this bit onto your fold out. So 
what we've got, where's me little tape pen? So if you've got this die at home and you're thinking, I can't remember how I was meant to use it. I like the idea of it, but I cannot remember how we're going to use it. That is going to sit there. Don't worry about that. One, it rubs off, but two, I'm going to cover it with something, so that's fine. And just because I like neatness, I'm going to pop another one on the base there. So now I've got myself a little cupcake, my, my little cupcake cake bit, but the cake needs topping, doesn't it? So what we're going to do, there is a swirly paper in here. There's two. There's the gingham, which I need. And where's that lovely swirling? Right. This one with the swirls, I think, is fabulous. And what we're going to do is we are just going to cut a bit and use that fade, which it has naturally... So it's reaching for some... Here we go. So that I'm just going to cut there. So that is going to cut on that bit. And I'm going to have a gingham cupcake case. So I'm using the back of that gingham because I know colour wise it's going to match perfectly because it came from that 8x8 eight eight paper pad which is called snowy christmas but you can see straight away this is not that paper pad is not just for christmas it really isn't so now i'm going to pop my cupcake on there my swirl on there making the use of that beautiful um fade which comes naturally with that so that's going to pop there and that's going to pop there and then we're just going to run it through and I have got you'll be pleased to hear I've got some lovely samples to Tammy show says you uh, well. I love you Joe you're the best big purple heart Aww. that was the person that I accused of backing me into that pronunciation corner there though uh, thanks for that <laughs> uh, and Sue says well, this is an awesome size cut cake diet i think really i need is. to have it in my stash i think you might uh, loads of you um loads of you uh, talking about your favorite food as well as in like the thing you'd have to eat forever andrea says joe tell fiona i love the top she had on with craig this morning it was gorgeous oh um, thank you i love this one i think this is potentially my favorite uh, top that i've ever seen you wear fiona oh, i think it's gorgeous thank and you've got you some beautiful much. ones but that you know what? I, you know how I love a bit of colour. Live yes. your life in full colour every day. That's what I say. Yeah, I had my sort of caftani poncho we one on this morning. Mm. But thank you very much. It's uh, it, it is a bit of a favourite because you can throw it on over everything and nobody can see what you're wearing underneath, <laughs> which is always good. So look, here is my cupcake. And if you do want to know where I got that top that I was wearing this morning, yeah. Uh, message me on my Facebook page Ooh. and I will s give you the details. There you are. There we go, because it was a recent one. So here we go. So look, that was basically, a, that was like a Crafters TV version of an Instagram swipe up. If you want to yeah. shop the look, swipe up here. <laughs> <laughs> if, if I knew how to do that, I'd be going, yeah, <laughs> lovely. Look at that for the basis. Doesn't that work well? It really does. So now let me show you some others you can be making on variations. That is adorable. I love this one, just using the plain pads. Look at that. And the cherry's been glazed really as well that. on that. Really good, isn't it? Or alternatively, you can make it open on the side if you so wish, just by overlapping a different part of the dough. If dunk. you were that way inclined, do you think you could turn that into an ice cream with a little bit of fruit? Oh, definitely. You could definitely, you could use, I'll tell you what, one of those folders we had. Yeah. The six by six folders. Use that on the bottom. You could get like a waffle cone. Yeah, great idea. Ooh. I was also thinking maybe a bit of like cream. I know one of our paper pads has got like a cream, like an oat biscuit with a bit of a check pattern over the top of it. That might look like a, an ice cream cone if you uh, cut that one as well. There's loads you can do with it. And I know that you're going to uh, really enjoy uh, crafting with this. What I want to do is just recap uh, what you're getting in there. Remember, for £18, you're getting the sweet cupcake die. And the great thing about it uh, is that it's £24.99 or £32.99 on its own, it should be. However, as a Platinum member uh, in the US today, you can get all of it 
for $16 because you're also getting all of those really usable, sorry, turn that around, all of that really usable uh, workable stamps. Um, layering stencils, gone, totally sold out and gone. Congratulations uh, if you got them. I also want to share with you, sorry, I'm just trying to, if you, I don't know if you can see, what I'm trying to do is not take that out of shot, <laughs> but I'm also trying to get these uh, from down here as well at the same time for you. So, uh, I was just, just rummaging in my basement there. Uh, right, <laughs> let's go, let's move on. Whew. When we get to this time of night, uh, Fiona, it goes one or two ways. Uh, we have a very <laughs> sedate, laid back show and it's like the wind down with Joe, or it goes the other way. And today yeah. it's gone the other way, I'm afraid. Uh, right, <laughs> uh, rotational stamps for you. Now, this is how these come. And these are, these are really well designed. When you look at products and you think, gosh, there's some real thought that's gone into those. This is them. Because it is basically one stamp that you just rotate. And that is how uh, you get this gorgeous full image. So you've got this one just here, which is your spring has sprung. Uh, and then you're also going to receive this one, which is a flutter by wishes. Uh, so you get both of them, which is fantastic. £9.50 or $11.50 uh, if you want to get your hands on them. Uh, you've been sending us in pictures, which we absolutely love. We love uh, seeing your uh, pictures. So let's take a look at what we've been, uh, what's been sent in. I hear there might be pets, uh, is what I I, I thought I heard uh, whispered. Oh, the size of that schmeckling. Uh, look what Shannon sent in. That's amazing, isn't Love it? Love that, that Z fold. Really gorgeous. Mm. Really gorgeous. Another one from Shannon as well. Oh, using the stencil there, the Dahlia. That, as the we, Dahlia. We, yeah, the Dahlia, absolutely. Dahlia, the Dahlia. <laughs> uh, now, B Fowler sent us a picture in. This is a rabbit with attitude, isn't it? Oh. That is the sassiest bunny I think I've ever seen. <laughs> look at him, the way he's sort of splayed out on the floor. That's a guard bunny. That is a guard <laughs> bunny. Look, he's warming his bum on the fire. That's what he's doing. Oh, oh lovely. The sassy little minx. Uh, I'd love, we, do we have a name for the bunny? Ah. Oh. Uh, are we, you're going to have to follow us up uh, with a name uh, for the bunny because uh, we would... Oh, Poppy the bunny. Thank oh, you very much. Perfect. Uh, talking about uh, if you had to eat something forever for the rest of your life, Kay says shrimp done anyway. <gasps> shrimp Ooh. for me or prawns as we call them here. Um, the Spanish way for me, Fiona, in lots of oil with chilli and garlic <gasps> and then you dip the bread in. Oh, oh perfect. Yeah, we are yes. right with that. Yeah, Brilliant. absolutely. Okay. Uh, seafood for Rosalind. She'd love like Dungeness crab, oysters, scallops and shrimp washing it down with a bottle of beer now do you know it's funny with oysters i'm fine with oysters so long as they're cooked right I that's the thing raw, see i can only have them they're cooked i can only have them raw because i had some barbecue ones uh on the beach in vietnam and i, I wish i could tell you the rest <laughs> of the story uh, you know where that's going don't you uh joy says <laughs> okay uh and i was driving a moped through vietnam just for context <laughs> joy says okay you guys are making me very very hungry joy you're not alone the whole this is this whole conversation was born out of the fact that me and Fiona are going to have our dinner in 30 minutes yes. um mary says the stencils are a must-have well they're gone mary you can't have them anymore i'm afraid <laughs> uh, another mary says enjoy some after work crafting whilst watching and listening to the lovely Fiona and Joe. It's a great evening in. Love the size of the cupcake, says Sue. Uh, she's yes. also just ordered the rotation stamps. Can't Fantastic. wait to play with them. Uh, and beautiful close-up, Charlotte, says Tammy. Uh, yes. She's very pleased. The, isn't the new studio incredible? Oh, amazing. Absolutely amazing. It is just the best place to work. There is loads of space. I mean, it's really airy and the camera work is, you know, the cameras are just... Top notch. Yeah, spot on, spot on. Shall we talk about rotation stamps? Let's, because I know you love them. It's okay. limited stock. Okay, <laughs> we're going to stamp quick. Right, I'm going to show you them first and then I'll stamp quick. So in each set, you get one stamp. And the idea is, as you can see at the bottom, just down this side, there we go, when I put my finger on it, it says, you stamp it, you turn it, you stamp it, you turn it, you stamp it, you turn it, you stamp it. There you go. That's how you're going to create these beautiful backgrounds. If you saw the rotation stamps on HSN, this is the first launch. So these are different and you might have missed out on these. So you've got butterfly wishes and we have got the beautiful, beautiful spring has sprung there as well. Very cleverly designed, as Joe said, because when you stamp them and you stamp in a different colour each time, you're going to get the most amazing designs. I love this. I love the little strawberries in there. You've got little strawberries, the strawberries? in there. You've oh, got strawberries yeah. in there. You've got little birds with umbrellas in here. Look, look, little birds with umbrella. Absolutely. 
absolutely <laughs> gorgeous. I mean, they are just such good fun. So before these sell out, what I'm going to do is I'm going to stamp this one so you can see. So I have got that second one on my mat already so it's ready to go the stamp is five by five inches so i've cut my cardstock a wee bit bigger and i'm using my stamping platform because that makes it nice and easy you'll notice that my stamps are always a pretty color this is because i love them and i use them a lot so it doesn't make any difference she said hopefully having not cleaned it but here we go we're going to stamp it first so this is spring meadow no transfer on my ink pad so far so far right so what i'm going to do is start with the crafters companion logo in the bottom corner i'm going to push that up so you can see awesome just here so then you stamp it there we go good stamp there we are, you've got your first layer down. And now it may not look that fabulous at the moment, doesn't matter, doesn't matter. Look at me cleaning the stamps between use. That doesn't often happen at all, at all. I'm being good. I'm doing, I'm doing not saying to you, I would clean them between, I'm actually cleaning them. So yeah. all I've done is just move them out with a wet wipe for speed, just here and taken the excess off it's only so that my ink pads don't get too mucky but to be fair it's me so they probably will in due course anyway it's a bit like that clean tidy craft room that i'm not using at the moment because it doesn't want to mess it up now? it's beautiful at the moment so you don't go in there yeah. <laughs> i was saying it's a bit like it's a bit like um you know when you clean your oven no. And then, then you live on <laughs> you live on takeaways for a week because yeah. it looks so good and you don't want to muck uh, it up. Well, well my my, when I moved into like my flat in October, moment. obviously my oven was like brand new, Fiona. Oh, that is gorgeous. It's looking good, isn't but it? But the thing it's is, when it's brand brand new, I remember the first time I the first time I used it, basically I cooked a pizza and cheese dripped off onto the base of the oven. The first time I used it. I didn't cry, but I thought. Uh, Shall I tell you something? My choice my, words. My sister, my sister will allow me because she knows I've told this story before. My sister, God love her, is seven years younger than me. Yeah. And uh, when she first moved out to her flat, she bought a flat. She moved in, and it's a lovely little flat with a with a little kitchen area. And she, anyway, years pass, and she comes to sell it. Right. And uh, oh, I don't. I hope this isn't going where mother, I think it's going. And she said. My, the, the thing says that my oven should have a grill. And she said, my oven hasn't, ha hasn't got a grill. And my mum said, have you ever actually opened the oven? Liz, <laughs> she'd never opened it. No. She how had she never, ever used the oven in, in her flat long? in two years. Wow. So there we go. So, what yes. was she eating? Who knows? Who knows? The mind boggles, doesn't it? It wow. really does. But yeah, bless her. Very funny. Sorry, Lizzie, if you're listening. It just had to be said. <laughs> there we go. Fred says he realised the word mucky. Can we use it more? <laughs> what, mucky? Yeah. Mucky, yeah. I think you must have just said it a minute ago. Mucky, yeah. Uh, Teresa's got the uh, the uh, rotation stamp. It's Mucky's a good word if you've got a Scouse accent. So if you're from Liverpool, we'll get Adam to say mucky for us. It's a good, then it's a good one. Uh, Mary says the studio, nice, but it's the people that makes it work so well. Mary Look Rounds, it. you can stay. Sue Hint says as well, the studio is amazing, but it's all of you lot that make it awesome. Honestly, with these compliments, we're not going to get out of the studio tonight. We're going to be so, our ego's going to be so big. There's a bird with the beautiful. umbrella and daffodils. You've got another bird with an umbrella there. Isn't it beautiful? So you get that whole design, which is absolutely gorgeous. And then you're going to take that design and turn it into something like that. How I love it. gorgeous is that? It really is lovely, but it is very, very busy on that. If you want it, uh, please be quick uh, for it. Can I level with you? We're friends, aren't we here? We are friends, aren't we? We can be honest with each other, right? I'm just gonna, just gonna level. There's three left. Wow. Across, across both channels, as in across Facebook and YouTube, there's 300 of you watching at the moment. There's loads of you with it in your basket. If you don't check it out, it is going to sell out in the next couple of minutes. So please check it out. Uh, there's three left, two left now I'm hearing. So be quick if you want that, right. Uh, we're going to move on and we're going to look at this. Now, this is something I haven't seen for a while. 
it cropped up a long time ago when I first started. Um, it would be my first shows on air. Or, or, it's a, a year on Wednesday. Can you believe that, Fiona? Wow. Where's it gone? It flies by, it doesn't does, it? It does, doesn't it? Absolutely. Um, well, in the time that I've been here, I think I've seen this once or twice in a sales show, uh, and then it went. I never saw it again. It is back. We have found a very finite amount of them in the warehouse. If you missed out on it, you can get it. Now, just to give you some context, $14.99 is what you should be paying just for this die alone, right? But then what we're going to do is we're going to give you the collage stamps. Now the collage stamps are worth 19.99. We're going to buy one get one free, but the one that you, well the one that the, usually you buy one get one free, you pay for the expensive one. We give you the less expensive one free of charge. Oh no, not here at Crafters TV. We're going to give you the more expensive one free. And these collage stamps are awesome because they are massive. They're eight by eight in size. You've also got all of these elements in here as well. Uh, you've got sentiments in there. You can do your own craft scene investigation with a thumbprint there uh, as well. Uh, you've got loads of scope to use these, which is brilliant. Um, I think if you like scrapbooking and you are very much into backgrounds as well, uh, Fiona. I think these are going to be absolutely brilliant for you. Now, there's a lot of stuff that's sort of sold out or nearly selling out. And what we want to do is basically give you a chance to check out your baskets because we're getting it. I, well, I mean, if much more of it sells out, I don't know what we're going to do to the end of the show. Uh, let's give you a chance to check out those baskets. And also, if you're a new person that's joining us, maybe for the first time, or this is only the third, fourth, fifth time you've joined us, if you still consider yourself a newbie and you're wondering how on earth can I get those great deals? but also watch at the same time. Uh, then there's a way, check it out. Hi, I'm Joe from Crafters TV, and I'm here to show you how you can grab the best deals and shop whilst you watch during our shows. So the best way to watch us is always on Crafters TV. Head on over to our homepage and go to Crafters TV. You can see all of our shows, offers, and even shop while you watch. Now, if you want to get involved and comment along, head over to our Facebook page. Come say hello, ask us some questions, and lol with us. Or you can watch us on YouTube. Simply head to our Crafters Companion YouTube channel. Got a smart TV? You can even airplay directly onto your big screen. We're constantly adding new and exciting shows to our schedule, so don't forget to check in. It's never been easier to have us in your living room. It's always fun here at Crafters TV, so come join us as we create every day. Absolutely, we are creating every single day just for you guys. Uh, Rosalind says, I've been in my house for 11 years. I've only used my oven cleaner feature once because it takes too long. <laughs> Rosalind. Uh, Joy says, both ways are always fun with Joe. I think she means when I was talking about it, either it goes, you know, sedate way or it goes <laughs> a woo kind of way. Uh, so we've, we've got the latter today. Uh, Mary loves the large 8x8 stamps as well. Uh, Fiona the Fabulous, this is wonderful, uh, says Joy Sampson. How lovely is that? Uh, Diane loved that last demonstration as well. Um, but now it's all about the stamp. As stamps go, I don't think they really get any bigger than this today, uh, Fiona. No, and they, do you know it's a fantastic stamp and we've got the torn panel as well. Fantastic. So you are going to get this huge, now look, Let's do a hand for scale. Let, well, look, there's my hand. <laughs> I can't stretch because that goes up there. I cannot, I cannot span that stamp top to bottom. It's, it's huge, is eight it? by eight. It's huge, huge, huge. And of course you can use it all, you can just use a little bit. And then you get all of these extras like the thumbprint, like that hello in a typescript, which I just think is so clever. Uh, you're not old, you're vintage. <laughs> yes, absolutely. The good old days. There's a lot of them these days. <laughs> Memories to last a lifetime. You've got that. I was just trying to see what that... That little stamp says sent with love isn't that a great one for the back of your envelopes yep. and what we haven't mentioned is these are fantastic quality photo polymer stamps oh yeah so these stamps are incredible that is a photo polymer stamp beautiful big size really lovely to use now however that's not the bit I'm going to use I'm going to use one of my favorites which is this torn die because for me it reminds me of the beach and shutters but in fact I'm going to show you a really simple way of using it now this is a creator card style die so it's going to cut and emboss in all that detail so what we're going to do is I have just got my card which I'm going to so my card is six and a half by four and a half and my actual die which way up do I want it 
Does it make a difference? Probably not, but I'll put it that way anyway. So the, the die is six by four approximately, so my card is six and a half by four and a half. I'm just going to tape that there so it doesn't move about. Because I'm using my junior plates, what I'm doing is using my metal shim and just wrapping my, my card base round it so that only the front cuts. So it means you can still use your junior plates, but you can cut it, cut your card base. Otherwise, awesome. what I would have had to have done was get my bigger plates out. Not that that's a big trauma, but I, it's, you know. Have you had your hands <laughs> on the Pro yet? Huh? Have you had your hands on the Pro yet? Not yet. I've not just worked yet. out that I'm... I've seen it. I've gone and stroked I, I've, it. I've uh, just worked out that I'm not doing the launch. I've just gone through my calendar oh, for no. this month. And I've got a right old shop on about it. I'm, you know, <laughs> I mean, I've got, I've got fabulous things. Uh, and then also, you know, I've got HSM preview this month. I've got lots of ones. I just did warehouse clearance last night. I can't moan. And look, let's face it, Fiona, I can't do all the shows. Do you know what I mean? But still. <laughs> you still want to. I might just turn up and just 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 Muscle I might just in. turn up and just stand over here with Ben. Yes. You know, they'll yeah, have to, they'll and have go, to drag yeah, me out. Don't mind me. Don't mind me. But it is coming up this month. I don't know control. when exactly. Sorry. Tell him your quality control. Maybe. Yes. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> You're just checking to make sure he he does it right. Now look, you've got look at that. You've got that beautiful, beautiful torn front so very simply all we're going to do is to pop this on as well so just being really 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 simple here we go that is going to sit in there my little bit of cardstock is Isn't going silver to glitter sit just it's just it's, do you know what it is delicious it's unctuous i don't know what that <gasps> means but it, that's what it is Yes. Unctuous. Is it a word? But unctuous is like creamy and rich. It's how you describe like chubby babies with chubby cheeks. Yeah. They're unctuous, aren't yes. they? And that's what that card is like. Love it. Look at that. So Beautiful. that looks gorgeous. All that needs is another die cut element, whatever it might be, on the front and the sentiment, and you've got a card ready to go. But look, because this doesn't cut on the outside, you can layer this. If oh, you've got any more that. of your creator card style, look at that. Now, I know I use the heart with that as well, but does that not work really well? Really? As a card. Beautiful. It Absolutely does... beautiful. Do you want to see a few finished samples oh. with the collage stamp? Yeah, because yeah show us a few bits over there, there if that's all right. So have a look at some of these and you can see how you would use that incredible background stamp. So whether you use them for your scrapbooking pages, whether you use it just to make a pretty card, look at that. Now, if, if you're one of those people who are always saying there is nothing to make men's cards with, you yeah. need to be getting Perfect. this stamp because it is fantastic. But this is one of those stamps that you can easily take into your home decor. Look at that. Absolutely gorgeous. Love that. And if has you... that been, has that got a bit of, is that a canvas? Yeah, it's a canvas. Ah. Isn't it lovely? Or look at that. If you want to go pretty and everything that you're seeing on that card comes from that one stamp set. What you is could that do with that gorgeous? as well. Uh, you could stamp that out onto some brown paper and then you could traditionally decoupage over things with it as Perfect. in use it as vintage paper in the as vintage uh, newspaper if you didn't have any vintage newspaper just a thought uh really uh, brilliant that remember you're paying for the creator card and we're sending you the massive stamp set free of charge which is fantastic uh now we're going to move on to the garden of love uh, collection this is a sort of collection that's been put together with sort of a love and marriage theme there's no getting away from that however it is something you'll absolutely be able to find lots of other uses for as well. You've got a whole alphabet in here with numbers and months and ordinals. Uh, so that's going to be really useful. And that's the monogram uh, that you've got to go with that, the monogram frame. Uh, you've got a border in here, which is fantastic. Uh, lots of different uses again for that. Use that like an edgeable. You've then got this one, which is your uh, rose place card. Uh, the great thing about that is that you can use that as a place setting, which is fantastic. I mean, you know you're fancy if you, you know your friends are fancy when you go to a dinner party 
party and they've crafted you your very own place setting and that's then when you get to the table first and if you sat next to someone that you don't particularly care for you move all the places around uh, but uh, it is definitely very fancy I've done that at weddings on more than one occasion I'm ashamed to admit Fiona um, <laughs> <laughs> you have got all of your sentiments uh, in here as well on your wedding day uh, you've got always and forever with all my love happy anniversary congratulations uh, everlasting love they're all in there um you've then got these stamps and these are fantastic and these are all about sort of save the dates uh, this of course could be weddings it could be birthdays it could be parties uh, could be anything really any kind of occasion that you need to send uh, an invitation or a thank you for you've got something in there that's going to allow you to do that then what you've got are these uh love is a great if gift we gift we can give each other wishing you a lifetime of happiness you've got things like to have and to hold from this day forward really lovely sentiments that are um there's quite a lot of words in them i think these are great for the insides of cards and that's where i personally uh, can see you using them and then you've got this and if you've got your pigment ink pads you're going to absolutely adore this stamp set because you can make your own backgrounds with these and your pigment ink pads very very easily uh, and you can then if you want to as well combine them up to make gorgeous reefs uh, as well 33 pounds or 47 dollars is your price there on that the rotation stamps uno left only one of them left so if you want it please check out whoever checks out next will get it which is awesome remember even when we're in the craft vault you can still use that fantastic club inspire discounts and club inspire let's face it it's just a generally lovely place to be uh, here is the boss with all the details welcome to club inspire our free loyalty club as a member of the club, you can save up to 20% every time you shop with us. For every pound you spend, whether it's in one of our stores or on our website, you'll collect one loyalty point. The more points you have, the more benefits you'll receive. As a welcome present, we'll give you 20% discount with your very first order. Once you place your first order, you'll be given 250 points straight away, making you a bronze member. This will mean that you'll receive a 5% discount on all of your purchases until the end of the next calendar year, plus priority postage. 500 points takes you up to silver membership, where you'll get 10% discount, plus free shipping when you spend over £20. When you get to 750 points, you'll become a gold member, which gets you a whopping 15% discount on every order, and will ship them to you completely free, no matter how big or small they are. Spend over £25 and we'll send them to you via our premium next day delivery carrier service. When you reach 1500 points, you'll become a Platinum member, giving you the same shipping benefits as a Gold member, but with the added bonus of a massive 20% discount on all of your purchases. Now on top of that, you'll receive exclusive discounts, sneak peeks of brand new products, special offers and money saving vouchers. You'll have access to an exclusive secret Facebook group to meet like-minded friends, to find out information first and to be inspired by all the crafty makes. We'll send you a completely free quarterly Digimag direct into your inbox, giving you lots of hints, tips, inspiration, additional offers and some sneaky behind the scenes gossip from the team. So what are you waiting for? Become a member of our club today. all the details there of club inspire which is fantastic make sure you're in there uh rosalind says uh, tea stain some paper uh and stamp it or stamp with the waterproof then tea stain on the eight by eight background stamp lovely idea uh, andrea says all of the demos are so inspirational so thank you fiona uh joyce says i love this stamp i'm going to use it now uh, bonnie loves uh that text background teresa says uh, those look fabulous sue says the panel die uh, I have the panel dies, haven't used it yet, wasn't sure what to do with it. Love watching these shows for all the inspiration. Uh, and Shannon's suggesting maybe you could use the panel die for Halloween uh, with a mummy peeking out uh, oh, from in there perfect. as well. perfect. Yeah, I love that idea. And that's what it's all about. Remember, you go back and watch all of these shows back at any point. Now, we've had a picture in from the birthday girl herself. It is Mary's birthday today. Happy birthday, Happy Mary. Birthday. Uh, what a beautiful card that is actually sent that's in for gorgeous. us. That's mm. gorgeous. Yeah. I mean, just look how well that stamp and die for the hello works with that background beautiful, beautiful. and and the baker's twine gorgeous really uh, nice. sonia's been uh sent to sun it's snooze you lose your old sonia she's been doing a bit of paper piecing love the color combos here 
Yeah, isn't that gorgeous? I mean, it's, it's really rich in dual tones, isn't it? Works beautifully with that bird. Absolutely stunning. And is that the collage stamps that we had in that collection that she's using in the background there? I think it might be. She says she's used collage stamps. Could be. Thank could, you for that, Sonia. Do you know, it could be. There, yeah. Well, there are some collage. Yes. Yes. Fabulous. I know which one she means. Yes, yes, yes. Beautiful. Uh, thank you so much. If you want to send us pictures in, please keep doing so. Uh, we're going to uh, go back over to Fiona uh, for the Garden of Love. We've got shows together tomorrow, haven't we? So if you have enjoyed uh, me and Fiona in the craft studio today, don't worry because you've got two more chances, don't oh, you, Fiona, yes. tomorrow? You have indeed. We have got, at four o'clock, we have got the launch party. Do not miss that. Not only have we got a fantastic launch from Crafters Companion, but I have had to... had the opportunity to play with some incredible ranges from Hunky Dory. Not only some beautiful um, paper and card making kits, which I think you're going to love, um, but also their prism inks, which are mica spray inks. And they've got the most gorgeous ribbons and bits and pieces mm. and gems and sparkly bits. And if you love a bit of bling, Tomorrow is the show to be at at four o'clock. Blingalicious. Blingaliciously wonderful, it really is. So I am cutting that beautiful, delicate border that we get with that incredible card pack. And then I will put together this card and then I'll show you a few samples. I was going to show you the samples first, but I got ahead of myself. So I'll do that in a minute. There we go. I'll pop those to one side. <laughs> it's late, Fiona. It's it late. is. It is. And I don't think I've had a cup of coffee since all. Oh that time uh, I know. I've, had a cu I've got a cup of coffee on the go in this show and I thought it was now? a bit late though you know Have if you, you can now? hear me having a rave upstairs in the f in the house at like 3 a.m you'll know it's that <laughs> coffee uh, it didn't agree with me oh, here we go now this is such a lovely just cause for speed just for speed now I don't normally do this but I, I have to say, it does get all the bits. Look, it, in fact, it gets all the bits beautiful. That's why I don't normally do it because <laughs> I haven't. I haven't discovered the skill of doing it neatly and tidily. So here we go. Let me just pull that off. That is stunning. That is one of the most intricate, pretty, beautiful little dies I have seen for a long time. And look how wonderfully it's cut because it's fabulous having dies like this. But when you get dies like this, which cut, like that does, look at that. That is incredible. Really oh, awesome. We've had that fabulous. I, no, I love, love I love this close-up work. I love it's great, it. great, isn't it? Right. Okay. So, quick fold-back card. You can tell that I've teamed this with the Garden of Love oh, paper. Is that rose gold there? Yeah, actually, very similar to the rose gold, isn't this is it? it? Very similar Ooh, to the rose both of gold. Them, both of them are totally sold out and gone, so I don't know why I'm teasing you with the idea of either yeah. of them, to be honest. Don't do that then, Joe. <laughs> don't do that. Right, I need an ink pad I just very carefully put back in the right place. That'll learn me, won't it? Well, no, actually, that's not the right one. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Rosalind says the panel oh, die funny. would look great on a nautical card. Jeffrey says all of your demos have been outstanding. Mary Round says thank you, Fiona, Joe and great crew for a great show. It's not over yet. You've got eight minutes left yet, Mary. Don't yeah. leave us yet. Don't leave us, Mary. Don't leave us. <laughs> Uh, and uh, Rosalind saying how lovely it is to see all of the other viewers' cards as well. Always yeah. lovely. In yeah. every show, we love receiving pictures. It doesn't always have to be stuff that's in the show either. I know sometimes you think it has to be the products on the show. It can be anything, uh, you know, within reason, obviously. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, this is the thing. It's What I love about coming up to Crafters TV is the fact that, you know, there, there are names I'm beginning to um, get to know which is really lovely and I do go back and read the comments afterwards um, after the shows when I get a chance because it's so nice yes it'd be it nice it's so <laughs> nice yeah yeah I do go back and read them yeah yeah no it's, it's just lovely so all I'm doing is going around this Z fold just to get a little bit I don't want a lot but just a little bit of that beautiful pink tulip just around the edges here so and you can see I'm not going oh so carefully I'm just zapping that round and then I'm just going to do the same just on the edge of my border just here so I'm just catching the edge of it that's all wonderful 
really pretty. It is really it reminds very me about it being a bit Western. Do you know what it reminds me of? It reminds me of very ornate footlights in a theatre as well. You know the yes. little clamshell footlights that the really old yes. sort of. If you went to the picture um, house, either the Lido or you know yes. uh, the Moulin Rouge or yes. uh, yeah, one of those kind of places. Absolutely. Uh, that's the way we'd see it. Uh, it's Lido. It's a Lido if you're in the UK. But there is a. Uh, it's a theatre, isn't it? A, the Lido Theatre is a famous theatre in France. Uh, is the Lido is in Monaco, Monte Carlo? Could could well be. Mm. Could well Maybe be. I'm making it up. Always pop yourself across to Joe Remnant's factchecker.com uh, to see if any of what I said in this show is in, has any basis in reality. Uh, Lido de Paris, yes, it is indeed. The Lido Theatre uh, in Paris. There we go. Uh, and so, I think it is very sort of burlesque cabaret, a bit like the Moulin Rouge. Fantastic. Yep. So there, I'm going to pop one just there, as you can see. Now, I'm using the thing which was made for these dies which is the dotty tape pen which is absolutely gorgeous then we're going to pop uh, this on there i'm just going to give that a bit of a a rub because i'm doing it a bit quickly bit quick bit quick here we go and then that is going to pop just there. Oh, all the love for Charlotte in the comments, it seems, there uh, today. Oh, smashing. Yeah. Oh, that's good. That's really good. Yes, indeed. Well, yeah, we do you know what? Charlotte. It's lovely, isn't it? Because we are a team here and you do get to see us folks who stand Ooh, in, yes. in front of the camera a lot and we can waffle. Let's face it, we could waffle. Well, we do waffle for a living. We do indeed. But actually... You should hear us at the house together once we get started. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's scary stuff, uh, really, it really, isn't is. it? By the time if your ears are burning to tonight and tomorrow night and last <laughs> night, you know what's happening, I'm afraid. The chances are high. Yeah, absolutely. Then what I'm doing is just popping this Z fold into my card just there. There we go. Then I've got a little circle die, which is just going to sit inside. Also, it was Tammy actually said it is very cool to be able to see all the detail that I've been missing all the time. Amazing. Charlotte, I can't praise you enough. Oh, Charlotte, Charlotte I think we need to like, we need to like, forget like fans of uh, Crafts Companion on HSM. We need to get Charlotte set up their own little sort of fan club I Facebook page, do. I think. Absolutely. She's going to be doing meets and greets in no time at this Absolutely. rate. I can see it. Absolutely. And she's a fabulous, uh, she's a very talented crafter as well. Is she? Uh, she draws apparently, yeah, and draws oh. beautifully. Uh, she's been on Craig's uh, been on Craig's um, morning show. If we uh, want to have a look at your art on on the internet, have you got what Instagram can we look at, Charlotte? Charlotte dot uh, Charlotte blah, 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 blah. Charlotte dot artwork on uh, Instagram. Go check her out. Uh, she's got fabulous uh, designs there. Maureen says another fabulous show. Wonderful demos. Thanks for keeping us smiling today. Uh, and Rosalind says thank you guys uh, for ending the day with a great show. It's not over yet, guys. Yeah. You still got three minutes left. We have, and I'm, I'm a lot can happen in three minutes. Yeah. So what I've done is I've double led just about two of these beautiful with all my love that is going to sit just there and i will finish it off in a minute with a rose and a flower so my card gorgeous like that. really that lovely pretty? so do get do get this collection because the sentiment stamps alone are worth it they really are absolutely stunning 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 did I really, really fabulous. Uh, let me share with you, uh, if you remember, so the Signature Garden of Love collection, still available, £33, $47. I want to share with you the Edgeables. They're the Word Edgeables. They've been absolutely awesome. Uh, and you get the Word, and then what you also get is all the stamps around it as well, which is fantastic. So you can... Uh, create your own um, sentiment, if you will. You can use them as an edgeable. You can use them in a um, in an aperture as a floating element. So still like an edgeable in an aperture. Or use them in there as a complete topper. So that's actually been stuck down against something. Uh, that's the dream one you're getting. And you've got cute as well. And again, that hasn't been used as an edgeable. But it, well, an edgeable topper is how you've been, that's been used there. And again, I think it's a really, really awesome way uh, to use it, which is fantastic. Uh, right. 
paper pads. Uh, we've got some awesome ones for you on the show. We've got the Christmas pop-up one. It's so heavy, this 180 GSM, but you've got 48 sheets in here, which is absolutely loads. Some Christmassy festive designs in here. Some designs, are you gonna use these all the year through? I think so. Is it worth getting them when it's on this kind of price? Absolutely. Uh, and also, you got the six by six pad as well. Now the pad is brilliant because it is a 200, you know it's thick the cardstock, right Fiona? When I yes. don't flick it that way, I have to flick it that way <laughs> uh, because it is bona fide 250 GSM cardstock there, uh, as you can see. It means you can construct with it, you can die cut with it, you can emboss it, you can do pretty much everything with it, uh, which is absolutely fantastic. Uh, loads of chatter as we end the show. Go Charlotte, uh, says Teresa. Shannon says, great job today, Charlotte. All oh, the love for Charlotte. Uh, Fiona, you're so creative, I love it, says Sonia. Oh. Lovely card shows, Michelle. Kay and Suze, all loving your work as well. I love your work, the viewers love your work. Fiona, it's been an absolute pleasure. Should we do it again tomorrow for, what, three I hours? I think we should. I think we should. So I'll see you from four o'clock, but remember, nine o'clock, Craig, and then there'll be a great load of shows all the way through the Ooh. day. Yes, absolutely. At 9 a.m. with Craig here in the morning for Wake Up Call. Uh, UK timing, uh, of course. Uh, I'll be up uh, with Sarah, the boss, at 11 for a craft fight, which is going to be fantastic. Uh, I will also be up with Bernie tomorrow as well for Softer Side. And then I'll be reunited with Fiona for the launch party. And then, of course, we'll end it all as we do every day at the moment with the craft fault. Uh, it's been amazing. Hope you enjoy the rest of your day. If you are stateside, enjoy your evening uh, or what's left of it if you are here in the UK or in Europe. See you back here tomorrow. Take care. Bye.